Well, I got my uh, special uh, headrest that I'm going to have to use while I'm uh, keeping my head down for four days and four nights. It comes, uh, I got this, uh, I'll put a link in the description below the uh, video so you, if you're interested in getting one for yourself, if you are going to go through this or if you know somebody that is going through this, this is spectacular. I, I had a lady come over that had both her eyes operated on just like I'm going to have done and uh, she said she would have get killed for something like this and she had to keep her head down for 14 days and 14 nights for each eye and she had both eyes and she had detached retinas and everything else but she's she's doing fine now I mean but this is back in 2006 when she had to go through this and this operation that I'm going to be getting I don't know when uh, I'm going to be seeing the doctor tomorrow and discussing I guess when and all that stuff but uh, it, it had only been uh, in use for two years that operation so uh, it's it's had a few years under its belt since then anyway uh, this thing can actually uh, slide underneath uh, between your box springs and your mattress so that you can lay in your bed on your stomach with your head down if you want to sleep that way but it's, it's I'm just gonna have to do it uh, sitting upright and that's basically how I'm gonna have to do it for uh, four days and four nights is take my glasses off and sit with my head down like this for that time period while my eye is healing. It's a small sacrifice for good vision so I'm I'm not happy about it, but uh, it beats the alternative of going blind. Let me show you what you can see. I've got a mirror here that allows me to see what's on TV. And at least I can watch TV programs, which aren't all that great anyway. But anyway, I'll show you in a second here. Okay, this is looking down through the uh, face holder, of, or the uh, cushion. And you can see it's got a two-way mirror that I can actually see TV on. And, of course, if I had the sound up, I'd be able to hear that too. But uh, just wanted to show you that uh, at least I have that. And I won't be able to do anything on the Internet. What I'm going to be dealing with, uh, it, it's not a cheap uh, product. And after I'm done with it, I'm going to have it here uh, for people in our area that uh, may have to use something like this for themselves and I'll just lend it to them so or I'll give it to the hospital let them lend it out whatever but anyway that's what I'm gonna have to do and uh, I don't know what's gonna happen tomorrow I gotta see the doctor and we'll s I don't know how soon I'll be getting the operation and uh, all this other stuff and I'll try to get back to sculpting I can actually see better now uh, despite the hole, the macular hole in my eye, which has uh, occurred, and the reason for the upcoming operation, um, everything seems to be okay. Uh, I can actually see more detail with the eye that I was having problems seeing anything with. And uh, so that's going to be it for now. And I just thought I'd give you an update on. What's going to happen? I don't know what day I'm going to have the operation. Uh, it may be this year, maybe the end of the first of next year. I don't know. It all depends on uh, doctor, uh, the doctor's uh, schedule and how soon I, they want to get me in. And I'll let you know. But uh, just wanted to let you know about this uh, device for resting my head. And uh, any of you out there who need something like this, uh, please uh, check uh, the uh, link below and I'll, I'll have a link there for that uh, headrest. It ain't cheap, but uh, it's worth it. All right. Good night, everybody, and have a great, well, I'll see you next time. <laughs>